Hello guys, welcome back to S3D, and uh, here's something very interesting. So, it seems like everybody is now uh, lowering the price on Robot Spirits figures. Uh, I don't know if I have anything to do with it. You know, my criticism on Robot Spirits pricing was pretty harsh a couple months ago. Uh, but I think I started in November and started criticizing them. Uh, but I actually got rid of my entire collection. And uh, I, I don't think I'm going to look back regardless of the price on these figures. Uh, but a lot of them, well, not not a lot of them, just some of them, like the, the peg warmers. Apparently this gin, um, not a very popular one. Um, it is actually kind of a decent figure. The backpack makes it very back heavy. Uh, but uh, yeah, originally it was like priced at over $50. And uh, I, I don't think... Uh, there's so many of them <laughs> during the holidays. Uh, I know the price went like below 50 at some point, but it wasn't like enticing enough to uh, get them off the shelves. A lot of retailers are still sitting on this gin. Um, and Banda is actually making a whole bunch of variants. There's an orange one. There's another desert type coming out. Uh, but yeah, overall, like it's pretty much a dud. Uh, there, there is some really questionable engineering on some of these figures, especially this gin, like the whole shoulder joint looks ridiculous, got balance issues, but you know, uh, there it's getting close to, uh, the original robot spheres pricing of $35. So that, that's uh that's a big surprise, right? You know, it seems like the figures, uh, most of the reissues are going below $60 now. The Gawk is at 60 uh, A lot of the other figures, you know, uh, I don't know if this is like Amazon's own doing, but a lot of people are trying to match Amazon's price on these figures. You know, look at that. Brain power, $38. So this used to be a $50, $60 figure. So, yeah, even the gym ground type. That used to be, yeah, that, that's about right. That That's how it was. That, that hasn't changed much. Uh, the Zagok at 57, used to be 65. Yeah, see, I, I knew it. <laughs> I don't think anybody's willing to pay over $60 for any of these figures. Uh, good luck trying to sell them at over $60. Uh, yeah, see, and uh, the funny thing is, like, Bandai actually don't have any fanboys like Hasbro that will defend the pricing. It's like, oh, yeah, you get more engineering, you get more details, you get more articulation, blah, 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 blah. I think we're all on the same page about this. It's overpriced. It's bullshit. We're not buying it. Not buying it. You can do whatever you want, but you're not going to sell any of this shit <laughs> at this price. So, Yeah. And I say the same thing with this uh, uh, Mark II right here. They want us to pre-order this thing for $75. Yeah, if it's not below $60, I don't think anybody's interested. Not in this economy. Uh, everything. Looks like even the, uh, <laughs> the Zakus are going below 50 That's actually, you know, that, that's how it is. Wow, GP01 at $52. That... That's not that's not a great deal to be honest. <laughs> Thirty eight dollars. Thirty eight dollars. That's a that's a sweet point. Well, even the blossom, the blossom was close to one hundred dollars. Now it's at seventy one. Uh, only three left. That means some people are actually buying it. Uh, Zaku two. Eh, that's still not a good price. Uh, like I said, thirty eight dollars. <laughs> I bought one for $38 in July. It says right there, purchased in July 2023. Yeah. Uh, Blue Destiny, yeah. See, the the uh, yeah, the E-Freak, I think a lot of retailers are dropping the price on the E-Freak to like $60. It, it's the same price as the uh, uh, this Blue Destiny. I want to see how many Blue Destiny unit one they sell at this $94, $95 price one. That is absolutely ridiculous. It, it basically comes with just as much stuff as a Ground Gundam. Or, uh, actually, it comes with less stuff than this Ground Gym. Gym Ground type. And it's basically $40 more than that figure. So, that is just super ridiculous. And this Heavy Gundam, the, the master, the lord and master of peg warmers. This thing came out in 2018. 
and it's been sitting on shelves uh, since 2018. Uh, I have gotten like at least five of these uh, continuously since 2018. And uh, every single one of them I had to sell below $40 in order to get rid of them, even the consignment ones. And people just keep giving me this figure as gifts, <laughs> like as a joke. <laughs> it's like I could build a fort out of all the freaking heavy Gundams, <laughs> Robotology heavy Gundam. Uh, it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's just like, anyway. Um, I definitely like to see uh, how things are going, you know, with these figures. Uh, hopefully, you know, they, they can figure out a way to, uh, you know, just have more uniform pricing and uh, more fair pricing. Because, uh, you know, at, at $38, $35 to $38, they're pretty good figures, you know, even with the QC problems, you know, that's very uh, uh, prevalent. It's, you know, at that price point, you know, you, most people accept some of the issues because they're decent figures. But at over $60, you know, people draw the line right there. It's like, yeah, nah, it's like, just not worth it, right? And then more than that, man, it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, seriously, what the hell are you doing? Like, I don't know. It's just, uh, I, I think they're trying to be like, uh, Ban uh, Hasbro and Takara, and then you know the, the, they just unfortunately Bandai just don't have the fanboy defenders that's willing to uh, go nuts and try to defend the brand or something like that. I feel like a lot of those guys are like uh, employees of the company or people who just been collecting for so long that they're so bought into the whole bullshit situation. And that they're willing to defend the uh, the uh, uh, the corporations for all their atrocities, all their shenanigans. But I, I think most educated, normal people uh, can see through the bullshit and just you know what, whatever, dude. It's like <laughs> keep up the pricing, see how many you sell. Good luck with that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.